Hey everyone, this is Tom from the Blue Root team. Here to show you how you can basically set it up so you can check your Zoho mail in Gmail. And so what I have here is set up is basically my version of Zoho mail that I'll be using and then my version of Gmail here. <clears throat> so starting in Zoho mail, what I'm going to want to do is navigate to the settings. So if you know how to do that, great, but I'll quickly show again here. It's quite easy. You just hit the settings here. And then where you're going to go is you're going to scroll down and you're going to go into the mail accounts area here. So I'll click this. And then here where you, you can see you're different. If you're uh, in here, you're going to want to look at your pop settings here. So this is perfect. But if I wanted to look at other types of settings, I could come back to here and this is going to show me I can come back into here and I can see, okay, my pop access and I can see different pieces of information here. So whatever it is, um, it's, it should be easy, na easily navigable to get to this screen. And this is the one you want here. This is the money one here. <laughs> so once you're here, you're just actually not going to do anything. You're just going to use this information. So all of the work's actually going to be done in the Gmail area. So I'm going to switch over to here now. So just like what I did before, I'm going to go to the settings. So I'm going to go over to the settings, click here, and then settings again. When you're here, there's going to be a bunch of different things along the top. The thing you're going to want to hit is accounts and import. And as you scroll down, the two really important ones are going to be send mail as and check mail from other accounts. So you're basically going to do both of those um, and you can do that here. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to start by adding an email account where I can check that mail from. So let's start there. So when this opens up, you're just going to start by putting in your email address. So this is my colleague's email address, Massimo. And I'm just using it for the purpose of this demonstration. So you start by putting in his email address and we'll hit next. This here, it's going to give you a little prompt. Don't worry too much about it. Um, you just say import emails from my other accounts and we'll hit next. Then you'll get to this screen. It'll automatically try and guess your username, but actually your username is going to be slightly different. It's going to be your entire email. So make sure you definitely add that in at the end. Password. So this is going to be something that you can get from your Zoho account. It's basically your Zoho account password. So I can just paste that in here. And then the pop service. So this is where we go back to this area over here and I start getting some information that I can use. So this here, it's asking me my pop server. I'm going to use this in one here. So this right here. So first things first, I'm going to set that port 995. And then once again, it's trying to guess things, but it's best just to use what you have here. So pop pro dot Zoho dot com. Perfect. And then what I do recommend is checking this one. Always use a secure connection when retrieving your mail. That's just to keep uh, the security of your Zoho mail setting at the highest caliber. So with all that's filled out, I should be able to just hit add account now. Now it's thinking and this will take a, about a minute or two. So let's just let it think for that time. And looks like it's complete. And so it says it's been added. So now I can start receiving emails. So everything sent to that Zoho mail account, Massimo Ian Roberto at blueroot.co will also appear my Gmail. But now let's do the flip side where we're able to send emails as M E N E Roberto at Blue Root. So this is exactly what it's prompting me to do. Do I also want to be able to send it? So I do. So let's hit next. You can name it whatever you want. I'm just going to leave it as Blue Root Mortgages, but maybe um, you can name it something else if that's more appropriate. So that looks fine to me. So I'll just hit next step. And then here again, um, this is where it comes into play where we're going to want to go back to the Zoho. So you can see it's asking for SMTP. And so if I go back here, that's the area that I'm going to go to. So actually not so much here. If you do go to the IMAP, you can see that for this out, there's an SMTP.Zoho. So this is actually, I just will close this here. This is the money area. This is where your information is going to be for the, this next part. So here I'm going to say SMTP dot zoho.com once again the username is going to be your full email so make sure you add that in and then the password just the same one from before i think i still have pasted and then the port 465 just to match what's over here once again 
Make sure that it's secure. This is recommended and I have that checked off and we'll add that account. Once again, it looks like I was successful. What it is going to do is it's actually going to send a verification code to your uh, this account here just to make sure that, hey, this is actually something that you want to happen. Um, I recommend doing the confirmation code here. So I'm just going to go back to my inbox here. Looks like it just came in. I'm going to grab this confirmation code, copy it, and paste it in here and hit verify. Looks like it's done. So now let's go back over here. And as we can see, what I want is exactly what happened. So I'm able to check emails that get sent to here and I'm able to send emails from Massimo and Roberto. And then here, this is a, a good one that you make sure is checked that reply from the same address in which the message was sent. So if something is sent to Massimo, make sure it replies as Massimo. The alternative is to always reply as your Gmail account. I don't know the application there, maybe that's relevant, but just make sure whatever you would prefer is checked off. So that's pretty much it. So now what's gonna happen is that all those emails sent to Massimo, Emmy and Roberto will also appear in this Gmail inbox. Thanks guys for watching. Um, as always, please let us know if you have any other suggestions for videos um, and so we can prioritize and, and give you guys what you're looking for. Thanks. Thanks for watching this video. Please be sure to subscribe to the channel and leave any comments in the section below.